Hello, welcome back to Vivintech. In the previous video, we have created a pipeline that copies data from multiple tables of a SQL database to individual folders of Azure Blob. In this video, I will show you how to create an event-based trigger that will trigger another pipeline when a blob file is created. The new pipeline that we will be creating will copy the data from Azure Blob Storage to Azure Synapse Analytics, formerly called as Azure Data Warehouse. For now, in this video, I will show you just how to create an event-based trigger. First, let me create a new pipeline. Since my pipeline can't be empty, I will place a lookup activity, which will get the metadata of a table that I have created. So under general section, we can find the lookup activity. And let me show you the table that I have created. This is the metadata lookup table and let me query it once. Let me show you the data. So these are the three records that I have inserted earlier and I will retrieve these three records uh, in the lookup activity. So I'll name it as metadata underscore lookup. Let's go to settings. And since this is a new database, I'll create a new data set and a linked service to get the data. So I'll click on add new and my source is SQL database. So I'll select Azure SQL database, click on continue and I'll create a new linked service. And my link service will connect to the database named logstatdb. That is fine. Uh, I'll select my subscription and I'll select my server name. My database name is logstatdb. I'll select logstatdb. I'll provide my credentials to authenticate into my SQL server. And we are good here. Let's test the connection. If we are good with the connection, then we can create a link service. The connection is successful. So I'll hit on create. So it's creating and I'll provide the table name because there is only one table. Since uh, this is only one table, I can give the table name directly and uh, let's hit on OK. So we are good with this. As you knew, you need to check the first row only option. Let's unselect this one so that we can preview the data. Or even if you have a stored procedure, uh, you can use the stored procedure or query. Uh, for now, I'll use the table. That's the most easiest one. Since we are done with the lookup activity, let's add a trigger to this pipeline so that whenever a blob file is created in blob, it will create this new pipeline. So let's click on new slash edit one. I don't have any triggers in place, so I'll add a new trigger. So I'll name the trigger name as blob underscore trigger. That is fine. And my trigger is of event type. And I'll select my subscription. It's my free trial. And my storage account name is sales store. If you remember, uh, we created a pipeline earlier. Yeah. So and my container name is sales and my blob path begins with i think it is file drops i guess but let's check it once so i'm on microsoft azure storage explorer yeah my blob path begins with file drops that is fine i'll give file drops even if you don't queue that's not a problem because this is not a mandatory field uh, but i'll give it for time sake file drops and i'll select the option blob created so whenever a new blob file is created, uh, this trigger will trigger the new pipeline. So let's click on continue. So it is checking if there are any blob files. So it is saying these are the three blob files that are present. Let's do one thing before creating this uh, trigger. Let's delete the files in blob. Click on delete. Click on yes. 
I think it is deleting. Yeah, it's in progress. Let's refresh once again. Yeah, it is deleting. Yeah, it got successful. Now the blob file is empty. And click on continue. So as of now, I don't have need any parameters from this trigger. So I'll hit on OK. So I'm good. I'm good with this. And let's publish this. I hit on publish, click on publish. That's fine. Now what we'll do is that we'll trigger the first pipeline, which is copy data. So once the pipeline is triggered, the tables will copy the data from, sorry, the pipeline will copy the data from SQL DB to blob. And once a new file is created in the blob, it will trigger the new pipeline, which is this pipeline one. Sorry, we did not rename the pipeline. That's fine. So it is publishing. Yeah, publishing is complete. Now coming here. Let's trigger this pipeline manually. Trigger now. Click on OK. Let's come to monitor session. Yeah, it's in progress. Parallelly, let's check the storage account. It's in progress. Let's refresh it once again. I think it's yeah, the lookup activity is complete. I think the main activity is also complete. Yeah, if you can see here, the copy data is complete. Immediately triggered the next pipeline, which is the lookup activity. Yeah, it got succeeded. If you see the output here, we got three records. So we are good here. So that's it, guys.